One person is dead in Texas as Tropical Storm Harvey leaves a path of destruction in its wake. You're looking live from Galveston as heavy rains and wind continue to pound the Gulf Coast. Tonight, parts of Texas are bracing for catastrophic flooding. The storm made landfall Friday night as a Category 4 hurricane and weakened into a tropical storm this morning. But state officials say the threat is far from over. Don Champion has the latest from Corpus Christi. Hurricane Harvey cut a path of destruction across southeast Texas. But relentless rain is the major threat right now. For now, just wait out the storm. We're going to have to keep in my sisters because we're scared that they might flood here. Friday night, the monster storm slammed into the Gulf Coast near Rockport as a Category 4 hurricane with 130 mile per hour winds. Harvey blew out windows and collapsed the third floor of this hotel. Curtains on the fo third floor got sucked out of the building, or on the second floor got sucked out of the building between the walls and are now poking out on the outside. Harvey has already dumped heavy rain across Texas, but much more is coming as the storm is expected to sit over this area through early next week. Our biggest concern is the possibility of between 20 and 30 more inches of rain. In Missouri City, a suspected tornado ripped through the Sienna Plantation neighborhood, damaging as many as 50 homes. We're freaking out, and literally, you could just feel the power of the house just shaking, almost lifting up. Emergency crews spent the day rescuing people who rode out the storm in their homes. Don Champion, CBS News, Corpus Christi, Texas. Rain from Harvey continues to hit the Houston area. Roads in the city are flooded, causing problems for drivers. But many are worried these rising waters are just the beginning. The Houston area could get pounded with rain in the next couple of days. I'd like to impress first uh, to everyone that the storm is not over. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's stagnated. It's a slow moving storm. By late afternoon, thousands in the flood prone Houston area were still without power. Meanwhile, dozens of oil and gas facilities along the Texas coast have been evacuated, some even shut down. Harvey canceled and delayed flights right here in our area from in and out of Texas. RDU says passengers traveling to Houston or Dallas can change flights to those cities without having to pay a fee due to the tropical storm. Check with Delta, Southwest, or United about the change.